alright. Mommy's right here. Oh. Mommy's right here. What's, What's up, Beverly Hall family? family? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today, y'all already know, it's going down in a major way. Hold on, Cannon. You're naked right now. You can't be on camera, okay? We'll talk to you in a minute, all right? So guys, we wanted to get on here because this is gonna be the beginning of Caden's surgery vlog. And yes. the reason why we're doing it now is because this is the night before Caden goes in for his surgery. Caden um, has a circumcision tomorrow because yes. he was not eligible to have a circumcision done directly after birth. So the pediatrician had us go to a ur urology specialist and um, had to meet with the surgeon and all. You guys might remember that vlog a little while ago. But um, today is finally the day. Caden is over three months old now and he is eligible for the anesthesia and the pediatrician and the urology surgeon to come and do his surgery tomorrow morning. So I hate this guys, I really do. And I can't go back. Mommy really can't go back, back. She can go, but she can't go back, but we're gonna be there supporting our little guy and- Yeah, so again, you know, it's a quarantine type of thing, right? We're all in this COVID world where only one parent can even come in to sign yes, the case in. Just... And of course it's me because I have the medical background and I just want to have my hands on and be sure of like everything. Um, we have a really rough night. It's gonna be a really rough one. Yeah, it's gonna be a rough night tonight. Caden has to fast. As soon as it turns 3 a.m., he's not allowed to have anything out. And he loves getting up in the middle of the night, wanting to eat and drink more milk and milk and milk and milk and milk. So and it's just so much, so it's It's gonna like, suck because 3 a.m., he can't have anything after 3 a.m. except for Pedialyte. Pedialyte. So if you guys can tell here, we have a little bit of a mess because we just got everything out. Cannon went to the park, he got scraped up. We had to get new band-aids, all type of stuff. So this is also what we had to get for Caden, some Pedialyte. I don't know how he's gonna respond. I didn't know what flavor Me to get. Either. He's never had Pedialyte, so. I think he's gonna urine a lot, babe. It's gonna be brand new for us. I have no idea. Yeah. We really have no idea. Um, we're just super nervous. I'll be honest with you guys. We're just praying a hedge of protection over our baby and that the surgeon's hands will just be guided in Jesus' name and that our baby won't have any complications and that he'll be okay, right? Yeah. Amen. He's full of milk right now. We've been stuffing him full of milk. <laughs> We've been trying to stuff him full of so much milk just to get him like, you know, ready and so that he's not freaking out. Um, yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna let you Look. guys. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you, you go. Already, you're already full of milk. We're gonna let you guys hang out with us the whole night. We'll probably vlog during the night when he wakes up. Let you guys know the experience, what it's like whenever he's fasting, how he feels about not getting his milk at, after 3 a.m., and how he responds to the Pedialyte. Um, I'm gonna throw him in the bathtub, try to get him as relaxed as we can and just kind of like, just be here for Caden. It's all about Caden yeah, over about the next Kaden, right, yeah. 24 hours. And next 24 beyond. hour, really the next whole two weeks, I say. Yeah, because the recovery is definitely gonna be yeah. something that we've never had to do before. Um, yeah. Braylon and Cannon did not need this kind of procedure done. So we definitely are just, it's new for us, you know? Very new, so. Yeah, but we love you it's guys. It's gonna be a tough ride, guys. Tough, tough, tough ride. We're so nervous. Honestly, I hope that I don't get emotional because I'm already getting nervous and like freaking out about the fact that I can't be back there and I can't watch what the surgeon's doing and nothing is in my control. And it just kind of freaks me out a little bit, but I have to just trust and believe that Caden's gonna be okay. Well, Caden's gonna be all right because daddy's gonna be right there. Just one, five, 10 feet, 10, 15 steps away. Daddy will run fast as he can to his little guy. They say that from the time Caden is taken back to the time the procedure is done, it can be um, one hour and 15 minutes up to, I believe. Mm -hmm. So, and then after he's gonna be in recovery post-op for another hour, hour and a half. Mm. So, it's so gonna a be a long of three hours almost. His surgery is scheduled at 10.45 and um, She's gonna be, I'm gonna be freaking out. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys right now. I'm gonna be freaking out for that whole hour and 15 minutes he's gone. Um, very optimistic though. We've met the doctor, he seems super nice. Yeah. And yeah. 
Well, I just don't want to be, you know, freaking out. But, you know, I know how to hold my composure. I done been taught how to hold my composure through the experience of being a professional boxer. I just believe and trust in everything that's going to go well with little guy. So he's just, he's a little champ though. Look at that. That's a little champ face right there. Look at that little face. He's super healthy. He doesn't have any issues that we're aware of. None at all. No adverse reactions to any medication. So he's super healthy going into this and we believe he's going to fight his little way through it all. Yeah. He's daddy's little tough man. So guys, we thank you guys. Stay with us to the rest of the night, through the night, through the morning, through the rest of the day tomorrow. Y'all guys, we bring you guys with us on this journey. Yes, it's currently what time, baby? Right now it is, I say it is 8.17. It's 8.17, guys. 8.17 at night, so pretty much he still has 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. He still has about six and a half hours to, to eat. To eat more. So I'll probably try to keep him up a lot of the night. Yeah. And feed him so that he'll finally sleep and hopefully he'll just sleep until it's time for surgery. Exactly. That's the goal. So guys, we're gonna keep you tone, we'll keep you guys in tune with us. We're gonna bring you in with us for the rest of the night and for the rest of the morning, tomorrow, and everything. See you guys soon on the next juicer. Okay guys, so I'm running the bath water so me and Caden can kind of just like soak and relax. So I really like this cute thing I got it from Amazon and it's waterproof. You really just have to turn it on and you can change it with all these different settings. I just let it go like this and then I throw it in. And it changes all of the bath water so it's like Super cute, definitely one of my faves. Um, and then I have Caden's little bath that he can really sit in by himself and I kind of set it in the bathtub with me or I just lay him on my chest, so. I'm gonna get ready to wash my face and stuff so that we can get in the bathtub. Also, I had to pick up some more because we were out, but I got this Dr. Peels. It's my favorite kind of Epsom salts and I've never tried the rosemary and mint, so I'm super excited to see how it smells. I think it's super great and hydrating for the skin just to put Epsom salts inside of there. So, and it's really uh, like relaxing as well. cutest little necklace it says Brooke and Marco I don't know if any of you guys have ever noticed it it's so freaking cute so here's a little late night snack it's just uh, honey roasted pistachios look at that hair oh my god super cute Kayden's getting fussy I had to wash my face and hurry up and get them in here Caden has been so fussy today and we're not exactly quite sure why. He's just like wanting a lot of attention. Um, I think because I started to help him become more independent and we bought him that swing. He's His perfect. normal temperature. Mm -hmm. But like we got him this uh, jumper. What do they call that baby? A walker or a jumper? And um, it's like he's starting to see that he can stand up now and walk around. So it's like he doesn't want to lay down anymore. And he doesn't want to be alone, which is obviously, you know, look at him, he's smiling. Hey! You've been in such a bad mood, why? He's calm right now, but you can tell it's just like he really needs some attention right now. Yeah. And obviously so does Cannon. Get off of him before you smush him! I want him a hug. No, you can give him a hug, but you can't smush him. Okay. He's so little. So I'm gonna get Caden undressed and we're gonna go get in the bathtub. So guys, I'm also gonna put the hatch right here just for some extra relaxing sounds before our little bubble bath. Are you ready for our bath, little guy? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy love you. <laughs> I love you, little guy. Mm -hmm. oh. I love you. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> you thought that was funny. I love you. You're gonna get in the bath? <laughs>
We're all done. Got our bath and now he's all ready for bed. He's all ready for bed. He's tucked in. He's looking sleepy already. I know that one no, bath does it. Oh, look at him. Uh -oh, oh, 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 oh. He's been doing these sit-ups lately, guys. So he's getting ab muscles. Yeah, he's getting abs for all that milky drinks. I know y'all just seen that. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, oh, oh shoot. He's about to roll over. He's about to roll over. He's a roly poly -oly. He's so strong. Oh, he's a roly poly -oly. Come on, lift it up, 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 lift it up. Oh, oh daddy's baby. Oh, daddy's baby. <laughs> He's on his face now. Daddy got to help him up. Oh, that daddy <laughs> I can't believe he up. did that. He's getting so strong. He's getting strong, little man. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a lot of milk right now. How many ounces was this fed? Baby, how many ounces was this? That's about four ounces right there. So he's all like, you know, chilling from his bath and now he's getting his bottle. He's ready to knock out, but we got to make sure we wake up at 2 a.m. to feed him a big one. Cause he has to stop at three, probably like 2.30 mm -hmm. and feed him a big bottle. So I'll right now it is what time? 9.29. 9.29. I'll still be up. I know I'll still be up. Daddy stays up late. Oh man. Our young king is out. He's knocked out off his bath and his milk. So we'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Right now, guys, it's 10, 13. They are both asleep. I am up. Because I know he's going to wake up soon. Maybe in the next, say, two hours. He'll be back up on another bottle. Hmm. I'm kind of tired myself, guys, but yeah. I will be logging on. Oh, you woke up that fast? In and out. She woke in and out like that, y'all. <laughs> See you guys. So guys, it is 1 a.m. and he's woken up. He's ready to eat. So guys, he's eating five ounces right now. And we will top him over until the morning, but I think I'm gonna set an alarm clock in an hour or so just to make sure. Hey guys, so it is officially 2.20 in the morning. Caden is fast asleep, but we've decided that we are gonna wake him up. Mark and I just woke up to brush our teeth again in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. um, Cause I ate some more of these and I just had to get off my teeth. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna wake Caden up in about 20 minutes to give him his last little feeding of milk before he can't have any milk again until the surgery is over. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to take like a little nap until it's time to feed him again, but I'm sure babe will be up because he's up. Yeah, I'm up. He's up, it's two and he's up already. <laughs> Pedialyte now, and we have to actually wake him up to eat it. 
so this is gonna be his first time trying the Pedialyte. And then we gotta get ready to get him to, to the hospital. I hate to wake my baby up for torture. Hold up the blanket in the middle of the night with this bottle. Good morning, baby. Oh. Let's try some food. Let's see how you like this. I know it's different. Guzzling. You know he's the guzzler. Mm -hmm. He drink. He drink. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. So he likes the strawberry kind. He's probably just hungry. Yeah, he don't play. He's he like, is. what the heck is this? You don't he get what it is. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know you can get baby food. I didn't know it either. I guess better than making him starve from 3 to 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put his pants on and get ourselves up and ready, and then Marco got to drive me up to the hospital. Yeah. Hey, your boy's up. He's about almost done with this one, guys. Mm -hmm. It's time to go get up Braylon and Martana. Yeah, so bad, babe. It's like I don't want to take him. I feel so bad. I don't want him to hurt. You need so precious and little and cute. Mm -hmm. Daddy don't want to hurt baby. Daddy's little munchkin bunch. Mm -hmm. We love you so much, Kaden. We love you, baby boy. All right, little baby Kaden. We gotta get you over to the hospital, little guy. Yeah, she's sick. No, he's not sick. Okay. He's not sick, Ken. And she always, she always been, always spit. It's because he's a baby. That's why he always it, spits. And Ken spit out your car, Dad. You're gonna be so mad. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. All right. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys got to say a prayer for baby Kaden before he goes to the hospital. Braylon, you want to pray for Kaden? Yeah. Jesus. Okay, go ahead. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and God. In the name of Jesus, I don't want to leave in the blood of Jesus because I want to stay in the house. In the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 Okay. Lord God, please put your heavenly angels over my baby brother as he goes to this hospital. Please, Lord God, put your heavenly light and heavenly blood over Caden, Lord God. Please keep him calm, Lord God, and, and let your angels keep him calm. In this, I pray that this hospital is safe and, you, and that it's blessed and that the baby gets blessed whenever he's done. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Thank you, buddy. Amen. See? You have all the angels Mom, around can you, you. Can you. Can you do it, Mom? I the fun of Jesus. Yes, thank you, Jesus, for baby Caden. We love you, Caden. We bring you to the Lord today, and we cover you in his precious blood, Father. We ask that you just keep him covered from the top of his head to the soles of his feet, Lord, and that you just stay with the surgeon in his hands, dear Lord, and that you're just with Caden during all of this, and he knows that you'll never leave him nor forsake him, Jesus. We pray these things in your heavenly precious name. Amen. Amen. And can you do it, Dad? Daddy, do it in the car. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. We're on our way to the hospital. On our way, guys. We're about, we live probably how far from the hospital, babe? Like 15 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, about 15 minutes. I got one to go in my bandit. Super bright, it's a beautiful day. Very, amazing. Very beautiful weather we've had lately. Oh, a little bit chilly, but it's been beautiful. For Vegas, I just can tell by the weather. Very amazing weather we've had lately. A little bit chilly for Vegas, as you can tell, we have our hoodies on. Yeah, I did. But, um, very beautiful day today, so. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Well, guys, babe, getting the baby out the car seat. She's about to head in, and now I gotta go kiss my little man because this is about to be hectic on me. My baby is going into surgery, and daddy can't be back there, and I hate it so, so, so much because it's like, man. Ain't father supposed to be there to protect 
their children at all times. So now baby's putting them in a baby wrap. He's asleep right now. Yes, I'm glad. And little baby. Off to a racist baby boy. Mm, he's on his way to get his surgery and he's gonna be alright. Yeah, he's gonna be alright. Freaking out a little bit. I'm kinda getting nervous, but he's gonna be alright. Don't get nervous, babe. I'm right just one call away, one step fifteen steps away. I'll be fast in a hurry, baby. Can I get my ID and possibly Caden's medical card? They should have his medical card already, but just in case. My sweet baby. He's mm. sleeping. No, yeah, me too. Mm. Mm. I'm about to go do something with the boys real quick. I don't know, but. All right, I'll let you know when we're situated. Yeah, call me and let me know. Okay. Hey, Caden. Hey, Caden. Hey, Caden. Hey, Caden. Hey, Caden. Hey, Caden is fast asleep. We're just waiting to get called back for his surgery. Okay, so here's Caden's little setup. He's in like this crib. I have to change him into his gown, change his diaper. He's up now. So 16 pounds, five ounces. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Two foot, two feet, two inches. Wow, okay. Yeah. Getting bigger. I Come know. Thank you. I'm still here if you need anything. Good. So they're going back with him, and then Kaden is next. Okay. Like I want to get things moving, so. Awesome. Ooh, I have a bracelet. There it is. Hi, little man. Hi, little man. Hi, little man. Little We're just waiting for Kaden to go back. He's being really good right now. Don't be sad. Well, guys, I am up here washing the car, in the car cleaned up. The boys are in the car. Braylon's doing his distant learning, Mark Cannon on video games. As you can see, my Ken and Braylon right there, the baby, they're in the hospital right now. With wifey's in the hospital with the baby. So we just killing time, trying to, you know, yep. weather out the storm. Guys, right now. When is your next class? Uh, I think 9.45. So Braylon's doing distant learning in the car right now. Oh, it's 9.45 right now. Yeah, you need to get back in class, buddy. Yeah. So get back in class. While well, I finish cleaning the car, wiping down the car and stuff. Yay. Guys, we'll tune back in to you. Right now I'm finishing the car. I'll give you guys a whole visual of the car once I'm done. Yay. Right now I just got done spraying it off, getting it fresh and clean. See you guys soon. So Kaden is starting to get a little bit fussy because he hasn't ate in a long time. We're just waiting to go back. It's okay, buddy. So I'm just trying to comfort him and help him understand. I mean, as best I can for him being a baby. He's like, feed me, woman. Feed me, huh? <laughs> Still just waiting. Kane's pretty anxious. He's trying so hard to fight his sleep. He's trying. He's also trying hard to poop right now. Look at his little neck though, it's getting so much stronger. His little neck is getting so strong. I know, you're 
you're trying to boo boo. I know what you're trying to boo boo. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Kaden is not having it. He has been freaking out. All I can say is thank God for this thing because it's like he finally calmed down once I stuck him in here. He is so mad about this milk situation. Um, that's the only thing that sucks. David, since she talked to you about anesthesia. Yes. Yeah, she'll take good care of it. It's all numbed up, so he's not having much of when he wakes up and everything. Awesome. Yep. Oh, you're good. I know, he <gasps> finally fell asleep. When did you last eat him? Um, not since 7.15, about two ounces of the PDLA. Yeah, that was it, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah he'll be starved. He'll be, you'll be able to feed him right away. Okay. Get, get him over there. Awesome. Okay guys, so that was the doctor. Kane is officially getting ready to go back. I'm trying to whisper because he's quiet and he's sleeping right now. He has forgotten about eating and I'm very thankful for that. And um, we're just gonna wait for the anesthesiologist to come here and get him all numb and ready to go. Hi. Hi, Okay, <laughs> mom. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to get like emotional with it. We never like leave Kaden. Unless if he's like with Marco's mom or something. I know he's gonna be okay. My poor baby. I'm glad he was asleep. But now it's just a waiting game and praying that everything goes exactly how it's supposed to go. So right now guys, we're at Burger King making a quick pit stop. We just got done cleaning the car. Raylan about to finish his last learning. Markanen wants something. Oh, Markanen can't do that. You got to come down here or you going to take it with you? Here. Yeah, so we about to just eat, sit down, eat. Babe called me. The baby is doing phenomenal. He was asleep last time. You know, we talked, but he's doing good. Get your new glasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, silly. Mark Cannon off the chain. He a whole nother vibe. He a whole mood, man. But uh, everything's going great so far that I know. Caden is doing phenomenal. Uh, and to all my fathers out there, man. Y'all understand what I'm going through right now. I'm thinking about my little man going through his little anesthesia. He got to go through, get a little anesthesia, you know, in order to get this procedure done. You know, I just wish I was back there with him. That's all, man. Just wish I was back there with him. So, guys, we're about to eat our Burger King. Raylan's about to continue his learning. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, Caden is now in post-op and he's doing really well. His vitals are really great. Um, the doctor I spoke with him, the surgeon, he said that he's doing really great. Um, he seems to do, be doing really well. He can still sleep, but he should be waking up. We're going to be here for like about another hour and then we can uh, head home. But they just have to check on him like an hour after post-op, hopefully no longer, so that we can take him home again. He's starting to wake up. Okay guys, he's all done. Now we gotta go see daddy. Wait, did I go the right way? I don't think I went the right way. Caden is pretty much still knocked out. You guys seen he did wake up. He did drink a little bit of Pedialyte. Um, they said he can have formula as soon as he gets home. Poor baby. They say that he won't be in pain, but he seems like he's in a little bit of pain. Oh, Lance. Mm. Oh, my baby, he's all better. Baby. How was the night, guys? How was your day? That's my day. Are you happy to see your brother? Yes, we got equal. Oh, my God. He's all better now. Yeah, I broke my, I, I, I broke my glasses. He's very limp, you see. Oh, 
You need my help, babe? This is gonna take a while for his legs to wake up. And it's really hard for him to lift his little head. Yeah, he had to get poked with a needle. He had to get an IV. Okay, guys, so today has literally been an emotional roller coaster. Yes, um, it has. We have been anticipating this day for a really long time. I know that we haven't really talked about it much except for maybe in a few vlogs. And it's kind of like because we didn't really want to freak anybody out or like make you guys worry. We didn't really want to say anything about it until it was time to have it done, until we knew he was healthy, happy, and doing okay. Um, so this video is going to go out kind of maybe as a shock to some of you. Maybe some of you guys that have been following us for a while have watched our vlogs and know that um, a month or so ago that he went to go see a urologist specialist um, and that we scheduled his surgery for the end of April. So thank you guys for all your love and prayers. Thank you guys for all your support. We really appreciate it. Um, we have some more fun and exciting things coming up for you guys soon. So yeah, we love you guys and we will see you in our next video. Don't let them lie to you Black is beautiful They wanna take your soul Black is beautiful Don't let them lie to you Black is beautiful You can have it all Black is beautiful Show to you my Q-U-W-E-N Show to you my Q-U-W-E-N Show to you my Q-U-W-E-N You can have it all You can have it all Young, black, beautiful, intelligent, bright Lace you with ice in due time Make you my wife Apologize for the lames that wasn't loving you right The compromise for the fame